Okay, I'm back, and so now we want to talk about our second major type of energy resource that we've been using for a hundred years, and that is going to be coal. So how does coal form? Now when we talk about oil and natural gas, we said that there were microscopic living organisms in the oceans, and then when they died, their carbon and hydrogen got compressed and then that formed the oil and natural gas. Well, this time we're going to be talking about things that are going to be happening on the land. So coal is going to come from organic material that was living on the land. So uh, two or three hundred million years ago, uh, there were vast uh, swamps on the earth where you had these trees that would be growing in the swamp and when they would die, they would fall into the swamp. Now, if they don't get covered over, they're gonna start to decompose, and then we're gonna lose all of that carbon and hydrogen. Okay, but on the other hand, if they get covered up by more trees falling on top of them, and they get compressed further and further underground, then eventually all of that carbon and hydrogen is going to be smashed together and is going to be turned into coal. So that's where coal is going to come from. So uh, it's going to occur at specific pressures and temperatures the same way that oil and natural gas are going to occur at certain pressures and temperatures. So where do we find coal? Okay, so again here is a, a worldwide map that shows the, the location of major coal deposits on the earth. And we can actually even turn coal into a liquid that can be used in a gasoline engine. And so this was done uh, during World War II by the, the Germans. So the Germans did not have access to oil uh, reserves, but they did have a tremendous amount of coal and one of the ways that they used it was by compressing it and turning it into a liquid form that then could be used to run gasoline powered engines. Uh, so here's a little video if you want to watch it that shows how coal can be turned into gas. It is rather expensive to do it. So at this point it's uh, less expensive just to pump oil out of the ground, turn that into gasoline, but as the price of gasoline goes up, it may become more uh, uh, feasible to actually make our uh, gasoline using coal. Okay, let's take a break, and when we come back, we will talk about nuclear energy.